Hi, in today's video we're going to demonstrate how to do a waveguide calibration using a Mori WR62 model P7005 e kit and an Agilent ENA. Included in the kit is the software media on a USB drive, a P340A1 offset short, 1 8, a P340A2 3 8 offset short, and a P314 sliding termination precision. I've already set up the analyzer with the correct test port, and I've cleaned all my standards using isopropyl alcohol, cotton swabs, and canned compressed air. Normally for the most precise calibration, you would want to use the bolt kit that comes in the calibration kit, but for today's demo, I'm going to use clamps to speed things up. We begin the cal by loading in the cal coefficients from the media. Go to the calibration pull down menu, select advanced modify cal kit, import kit, in the pull down menu we'll go to my computer, removable disk, and select the P7005 software from the drive. Since I've already loaded the software from before, we're going to say no here when it asks if I want to import it again and OK. Go into the calibration menu, select calibration wizard, and we're going to use this first choice here, the smart cal, the guided calibration. Select next. We're setting up a one port cal on port one. Our connector type is WR62 waveguide. Our available kits are the P7005S sliding load kit. Select next. At this point, the network analyzer will prompt you on which devices to connect. The first device is the P340A1 1 8 offset short. As you connect these, be careful when connecting to the indexing pins not to scratch any of the faces of the waveguide. When using clamps for the best results, use four. We select measure. Now it prompts us to connect the 3 8 offset short, the model P340A2. Also notice as I'm doing this today, I am wearing a grounding strap so that we don't transfer any electrostatic discharge to the machine, therefore damaging the equipment. measure. We're now ready to connect the precision sliding termination. Because the termination is so much heavier than the shorts, you'll want to support it with a lab jack or other similar device. Okay. We select measure. At this point, the machine prompts us <coughs> to slide the slide at least five positions. We recommend at least six. The best way on a waveguide sliding load is to pull the slide all the way back so as you increment, you can see how much slide you have left. Select measure. As you increment, try to do it in uneven steps. This makes for the best calibration. Position five. At this point, the network analyzer will allow you to finish the calibration, but we recommend at least six positions, so we'll go one more. Select Done. Finish the calibration. And at this point, we're now looking at a maximum of a 101 DSWR. This is the error corrective measurement of the element of the sliding load. It looks like a pretty good cal. 
This concludes our one-port waveguide calibration demo.